Alexandre Labois for Rebel News, and I'm currently at the Montreal airport. Why? Because Tommy Robinson is supposed to arrive in a couple of minutes. We don't know yet if the security will let him through, but we hope so because we have a special event with him in Toronto and Calgary. You can right now purchase your ticket. The general admission will be $50, and if you want the VIP with the full meal and hear from him and meeting pri privately with him. It's a VIP ticket. You can purchase that at tummytour.ca. We are here. We want to speak with him. We want to have his first impression. It is terrific to see what's going on in Canada. If you are a criminal and you want to come in Canada, it's easy. You just walk through the border and they will welcome you with open arms. They will give you everything that you want. But for someone like Tommy Robinson, who is a journalist and activist, who is shedding light on different topics, and of course he is politically incorrect in the view of the government because he is not following the same narrative like him and Ivi Yemini. When they try to go to other country, they try to block them and they try to stop them to come. Why? Just because of their view and their opinion? This is just crazy. We will see if um, the security would let him through. I know now he's still on the plane, but we will know in a couple of minutes. But I say it to you. We want his first impression, but we want you to go over tommytour.ca, purchase your ticket. It's probably the only time in your life and his life that you will have the chance to meet with him. So go to tommytour.ca, purchase your ticket, and if you want more, don't forget the VIP one give you more time with him and the chance to speak with him one-on-one. -on -one. So we are currently waiting, but what we know so far, see, it's Tommy have been stopped right now and he's currently at the immigration. We are hoping for the best, so finger crossed. I'm very happy. Good, so am I. Oh my god. I know, man. I thought the longer it went, I thought I'm not I'm just not getting in. I was like. It's good. Isn't it? So, for uh, what? Three hours and a half in the immigration. And Two hours, yeah. so, did they say anything to you? No, nah, just asked what I'm doing here, who I'm visiting. It's good. Were you scared? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I never thought I was getting in. <laughs> Is it your first time? First time in Canada. Oh my God, yeah, welcome! I, I, I didn't even get in Mexico. I landed to go to Mexico and they didn't let me in. So, but that was the British again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm in. So you, you flew from Copenhagen? I flew straight from Copenhagen because uh, I was there for work. Okay. I'm so, at... what are you going to do here in Canada? I'm happy to be in Canada. Do you know people from Canada have supported me for years, yeah? Mm -hmm. I, Ezra Levant's Rebel Media, put me on my path of journalism, which I'm very grateful for. So I'm here to, I'm going to hook up with Ezra. I believe we're doing Calgary. We're going to be in Calgary June 24th, Edmonton June 25th, and Toronto June 30th. I've got a few other people I want to see. Gad Sad, uh, Tammy Peterson. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm happy. I never know the whole time flying here. I didn't expect to get in. <laughs> so I'll say, I, uh, I didn't even book a hotel. <laughs> I've got to sort it out now. Because I didn't book it, because I thought there's no point, because I might not come get through. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy. I'm tired, but I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy to be here. So. And you have an event that's coming up in England. Uh, in, well, in England, July yeah. 27th. It's going to yeah. be massive. It's going to be massive. But do you know, I just found out they've just given me a court date today. I just heard to that. To try and send me back to jail for a film that I made four years ago. I made a film four years ago that was released in America 18 months ago. So when I made the film, it exposed corruption of the government, of the local council and the judiciary, and they gave me an injunction preventing me from ever showing anyone it. And I didn't show anyone it because I'd go to jail. And it was released in America, it was leaked in America 18 months ago. I want to hurt you because you didn't hurt it from the lawyer of the court itself. I, it I want you to tell no. us all you learn about yeah, it. Yes, so I haven't heard it from the court. I haven't heard it from anyone. I've heard it from a far left NGO organization who operate to attack people like me. And they're the ones that have put out breaking news, Tommy Robinson's in court July 27th. First I know of it. 
First one of it, which shows that they are working alongside the judiciary to attack people and to silence people. Mm -hmm. It's on July, July 29th, it's my court date. Two so, days after you are. Two days after the event. And to, yeah, two days after the event. I haven't been in the country for weeks. Since, since June the 1st, I haven't been in the UK. So maybe they were trying to get me in court before. I don't know, I haven't been there. Wow. So I've been away. I've been in Spain, I've, I've been in Denmark, and now I'm, now I'm here. Now I'm here for a few weeks. Come on, Canada. <laughs> so Tommy is, coming, is going to be with us for multiple events. You can have your ticket. I invite you to purchase it at tommytour.ca. You can have just the general ticket, but you can buy your VIP to spend time with this fella <laughs> and have like a meal with him to learn about him. I think it's, first of all, it's his first time and it's probably your last time. My, it probably is my last <laughs> time, yeah. I'm surprised I'm here. So that's why I said it. It's probably the last time I'll ever be allowed in Canada. So I'm happy, and do you know why I'm happy? Because a lot of people have supported me, and I have messages all the time. I had people, three different Canadians, just in the last two days, messaging me, saying, come to Canada, come to Canada. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to hopefully get to meet some of the people that have supported me for the years of my journalism with Ezra, the years of my work. Um, and I want to see Canada, so come on. And, and by the way, um, we had one of our journalists, uh, Evie Emini, that was blocked in New Zealand in the past. And I was getting really worried because it's been like three hours three and hours. a half. I and I was like, I'm worried it will not get through. Yeah, but I want just a quick word about the censorship that you experience, uh, not just in England. I think it's a little bit everywhere where you, where you go. Do you call it censorship or there's a mixture of censorship and lawfare? So they're not, they're not just happy with silencing people anymore. They want to destroy them, financially bankrupt them. That's what they've done to me. The film that I released is about the court case where they bankrupt me for 1.6 million pounds. My film and my covert recordings prove the entire case is fraudulent. It, it proves hands down. That's why they give me an injunction, not let me show, show the public here. But then they were unhappy because it got released in America. And then they've, and then look at the timing, yeah? We have our, our event on June the 1st. It goes very successfully, 10, 20, 30,000 people there. We've, we've organized another event, which is going to be the biggest gathering of patriots that Britain's ever seen. We're going to fill Trafalgar Square. Um, I think a million people will probably be watching it live. The whole world's going to have their eyes on London on the 27th of July. And then bang, they come, and, they come and dig up a case. They dig up a film that was released 18 months ago and they'll give me two years. They send me to the High Court of London. No jury, I don't get a jury for this case. So I'm up before a judge. But anyway, I'll stop. That's the negativity, the positivity is I'm in Canada. You're here. I'm here. So I'm let's in. go, tommytour.ca right cool. now. I look forward to seeing you. <laughs>